Welcome back everyone to Old World Blues. I'm your host, Mr. Mocha Lover, in which we're playing as the Brain's Wrath. So we got quite a few comments to go through, but let's start with another focus, shall we? A new way might not be too bad. Uh, let's see, diagnosis condition, so it helps out pale folk. We, I kind of sort of want to annex or go to war with Eastport, so let's go ahead and diagnose a condition. Our doctors have spent several weeks studying the conditions of the pale folk, who seem to support a uniform genetic disposition to albinism. Albinism, yeah. That is to say, they're all albino and overwhelmingly sensitive to the sun. Some of their number have been taken for less than noble experimentations. Oh boy. And we have a okay amount of manpower, not a great amount, but let's get through some comments. So one recommends we play more base game Old World Blues after this campaign. We'll see. I do have some plans for some regular base game, you know, Old World Blues Nations. Uh, so, in time we will. I can't promise anything because sometimes I don't even know what we're going to play next. Sometimes, sometimes not. So, and actually, we're probably going to need some healing pellets. Go and grab that. Next comment is try out the Wild Wasteland portion of Old World Blues. It's in the game files, or not the game files, it's in the rules at the start of every campaign before you even like click on play. So, I've never actually played with Wild Wasteland. We'll try it sometime. And also, I should play with the Big MT. So, oh, actually, before I talk about that, the Big MT, mutants get more hardness. Well, that's nice and all, but I don't think mole rats are hard, and if they're hard, I don't want to know about that. Yeah, their hardness is zero, so that'd be a complete waste for us. Um, I already, I, I know I went down this exact route, or this, I selected this part of the land doctrine when I play the show's army, just because it makes more sense for more organization, so there we are. Uh, big MT. Uh, I'm kind of hesitant to play as a Big MT just because they lose political power when you choose their focuses, or foci? Focuses, I guess. So, I'm not really keen on that. I heard it's pretty darn difficult, so maybe eventually, but we'll see what happens. Oh! Oh, yeah. Uh, who is the creator of the sub-mod for vault Tech Expanded? I don't remember, but I'll put it down in the description below if I remember once I finish, you know, recording this video. Cool, and we've got the justification for the Desert Rangers done. And as you can see on screen, uh, someone recommended a intelligence agency name already, which is the People Endure Strength Test. I figured that would be okay. Pest. You know, I might have gone with something like Mole, but it looks like we can lower the autonomy of a subject. I think that'd be quite nice. Since we have already have maxed out military staff, we have no economic advisors. We need one more for cultural advisors as well. And production policies also come in time as well, so we'll see what happens. But, you know, what if we can lower the autonomy of somebody? Why not? Pale Folk? Let's do Pale Folk since we're already lowering their autonomy anyway, so that'd be kind of nice. And of course we could use more political power, but we'd get 1.69 every single day. Uh, diagnosis of condition, about 12 days left. Anything here? Not really. But let's, after diagnosing the condition, seize Eastport. Sure, why not? The settlement of Eastport is managed by barely literate farmers and ranchers. It's time we brought them and the resources under our influence for their own good, of course. And after we are able to click on this, we do get some political power. But we will go to war with the Desert Rangers and have a very nice time with them. And... There we go. Cool. Alright, that's good. Uh, let's go to war with these guys and have a good time. Call all of our allies in. Throw more divisions on the line. And we can go ahead and probably do... A, well, we could probably do okay as long as we're not, you know, still training. Oof. That's not a good idea. Ah, go get some lightweight metals. That's fine. Wow. A little bit of lag there, huh? If we did try a general attack, could we actually win? Maybe. We have some public projects. Let's grab some standardized tools. No, metalworking, metalworking, metalworking. Let's grab that one. Ah, mole rats, my favorite. All right, Yakuza, I asked to call you in. You can't tell me no. Now, it looks like we're doing okay-ish in some areas. It's about, uh, down here in the south is okay. In the north, not so much. It's also because these guys refuse to get in. We call them to arms, and they refuse, which I don't understand why they would do that. That seems pretty darn backwards to me, but it might be because we're out of infantry equipment, which is not very good for us. Of course. Um, why are you helping down there instead of over here? There you go. How about down here? Uh, we do have ooh, an operative, which is nice. 103 losses. Come on, guys. Get in, get in the war. And Dweller Reginald. Uh, counterintelligence? Why not? Dweller Reginald. Now, how strong are the Desert Rangers? They have a lot of manpower and up to 30 divisions, but we do have more, but that doesn't mean we have better divisions. Oh, yes. More pop guns? Don't mind if we do. Let's see anything else here. It's almost 2277. 
that'd be a little bit too ahead of time. Let's grab some standardized tools, and we can actually lower the autonomy of Cyclops tribes. Very good. Very, very good. Oh, yeah, it's definitely sort of costly doing this, but that's alright with me. After this, we're going to uh, probably puppet them. So there's quite a couple comments saying that we shouldn't do a puppet campaign, because it doesn't make sense for us. We're rulers. If we want to puppet other people, we should be the people, which makes sense. I completely agree with that. That, that makes sense. But I kind of want to do a puppet campaign just because it makes it a little bit different uh, from what I normally do when I take over over everyone else. So I wanted to try something just a little bit different than what I normally do. Uh, however, in the future when I play as Vault City again, or even other different nations, when I play as the people, I'll do the puppet thing again. But when I play as the elites, well, it'll be direct rule from Vault City. I promise you that. So Now these guys are definitely going to die here, which would be great. We have an upgrade for Dweller MacArthur. Or MacArthur? No. no, no there's no MacArthur here. Uh, land out attack. Let's get let's get land out attack. More ninja. Oh, can we grab more? Oh yeah, I, I like rooted. Rooted's a pretty good one too. All right, so they're no, they're not doing that well. Now if we had our plans over here too, that'd be pretty good. But our plans are a little busy trying to kill the rest of these guys off. So come on, please take them out. They they honestly should not be giving you any more trouble since they are completely cut off from any sort of supplies. Come on. There we go. Good, good, good. A little bit of red in the center, that's alright. And how many men have we lost? 225, that's not too bad. Uh, I will say, like, eventually I will integrate people into the army, or into our lands. Our puppets, I mean, you know. So, that is my plan eventually. Just so we can core them, annex them, have a good time with them, and stuff like that. Oh, getting the division dead. Good. Goodbye. Up to 20 divisions. They say we can do pretty darn well down here, but you know we do have we do have our fighters, which is nice. All right, let's see. Can we add in any more guys? We have a whole one spare plane, so probably not for now. After this ride, I would like to consolidate things a little bit more. Actually, I think that'd be quite nice for us. Okay, guys, you're all right there. Just move in there. Come on, primitive radio is nice. Ooh, industry. Let's grab some recycling. That'd be kind of good for our planes, energy needs, and such. Ah, see, Eastport would be good. Night School, not bad. Face Masher, Rifle Territory Ultimatum. I would like to try stuff on the right side, but let's go to Control Apparati. Physic or psychically powered headgear allows the brain to monitor our citizens' thoughts directly. No, no one is safe from his gaze, and even though, even now, we have citizens reporting more and more loyal thoughts. Very good. These guys should be already out of equipment or whatever. Manpower, not so much, but stockpile. They have less than 1,000 pieces of infantry equipment. Now we don't have that much. We have minus 1,800, which is not good. But honestly, like, these guys should already be, like, done and dusted with. <clears throat> so we will annex everyone here eventually, like I said. But it's going to take some time. I, I don't understand. You guys have... Why are you not continuing to go across the entire line? Okay, I tell you to go, and you refuse... Go! Kill them off! Come on! Come on! For that, you're going to force the attack. I don't care what happens. I really don't. You're gonna force the attack, whether they like it or not. If you die, you die. It is what it is. I'll grab some monoplane fighters, those are pretty darn good to use. Destruction of Rangers Citadel, good. Very good, blow it up. Good, now these guys are encircled, there you go. You guys are gonna stop them from moving in, there you go. You took way too long for that. And we're dropping manpower because we're attacking like crazy. Yeah, it's kind of bad I do this, but, you know, we're doing okay. And you shall get... Let's get some more recovery rate. There we go. Nice. It shouldn't be too much longer. We didn't lose actually that many guys. And I will pop these guys again, just because that's kind of how I want to do it. And there we go. That took way too long. Way too long with these guys. Yeah, you don't deserve anything. But they do have a lot of manpower, which will be very, very nice to use. Desert Rangers, thank you very much. 16 combat width, elite rangers, not bad, infantry, it's not bad, not great, special forces, of course, we got a lot of different types of special forces, you guys, I'll copy you, we'll edit this division so we don't have this, and we'll replace that with infantry, and then infantry, and then, oh, that's, that seems pretty okay for now, so at least we don't have to garrison anything, and we still have our soldiers here. Now we still gotta be careful with our divisions. Honestly, I don't really want to use special forces. Goodbye, thank you. Goodbye, and thank you. All right. Uh, it was an Eastport, I think, right? Which could put us at odds with the 80s eventually, so we'll see what happens. 
Controls apparati, apparati would be very nice. So after, be after January 1st of next year for us to get to two year conscription. That's fine. We got a lot of our manpower back. We could use more robots. Not bad, not bad. And got some more infantry equipment back as well, which is good. Which is very, very good, actually. Alright, so that's the case. Lower you to five. We need more planes. Planes are going to be the key to our success here. Loads and loads and loads of planes. Oh, Hedo falls ill. That's fine. Uh, another infantry division. At this point, I don't want to make any more infantry. Well, at least... Uh, yeah, there you go. At least infantry that's not from our puppets, I shall say. That'd be good. Very good, very good, very good. Go ahead, and we're all on the line. We should be able to go to war immediately and have no problems, right? Now, if I call my allies in, they should all come in, right? No. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, this is very weird. Not sure why they won't all come in, but we should be able to do well with just generally attacking here as well. We should be able to, just because eSport isn't that strong. Uh, that wasn't us attacking, it was a Cyclops territory attacking them, apparently. So here's the idea. We're going to get as much as we can done. Uh with these guys, homing the at Carson Territory, Reno Gunrunners, yeah, it does not exist. We can't go to war with them because, as, as, as we saw in the last episode, that they joined the NCR faction, which isn't great, but, you know, whatever. Annex Eastport, huh? Face Masher. Growing the Flock. Hmm. Night School. With the light of blindness largely dealt with, we can turn to the internal politics of the Pale Folk. Careful and subtle work in creating the curriculum for the new education system will ensure that they will increasingly approve our, of our mode of government. Which is okay. Which is definitely okay. It's not great. Uh, what else we got around here? Extraction? Why not? Ah, oh, good, 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 good. I want to really emphasize mole rats, but the thing that'll save us is more planes. It's always going to be more planes. Anything here really important? I will probably do military signing bonuses to get more weekly manpower too, if that'd be good. Uh, let's go and set some manual prospectors. Raise pale militia. Eh, we're kind of okay. Recruit Ed Pukoloi. Former leader of the Pale Pope, Ed Pukoloi, may prove to be a valuable commander for our armies. Why not? Oh, and thank you. Battle of Hoover Dam. Who will win? Nice. Alright, same thing with you guys. Eastport. Infantry templates, I am assuming, are not, are not great. But we'll go and take you anyways. Yeah, special forces. Eh, if I'm using mole rats, I just want like a full mole rat army eventually, so. And then we'll throw on some chems. Just because, well, it's going to be kind of costly in terms of warfare. In terms of manpower. There you go. All right, not bad, not bad at all. Eventually, we'll stop using robots, but they're still they still have some use for now. Uh, next up, uh, we can spend some money. Why not? Form a department. Now, who do we want to go to war with next? Now, that did that could put us in a very very bad situation between us and the '80s, which I kind of don't like. But we'll see what happens. Now, let's see. Do we want light infantry doctrine for mutants to get a little bit more speed, or do we want some more hardness? We're gonna go with speed because. Us being hard makes no sense. Very good. After night school, it's a shining example. We already read this before. It's wonderful to see eye to eye. Let's use this to our advantage. I'd rather take the political power so we can just integrate them later on. So we'll get to these focuses. Growing the flock. Oh. Effects. Now core of Pale Folk territory. Huh. Okay, well that's cool. Annex Eastport. I mean, I would like to annex them, but we'll incorporate them later on. Maybe. We'll see what happens. We'll see how far this campaign goes. Uh, you guys are 10 combat with. I'm not really interested in that, guys. But you guys keep up what you're doing. You know, keep up what you're doing. Could use more scrap. We've got a lot of political power now. Clamp down on autonomy. You know what? Why not? Why not? Military setting bonuses would be nice. We're going to need that extra manpower, so... It's not that much of a cost. And we're still building up in Gecko, which isn't bad either. Former department, the art of haggling, very good. Cryptology, here we go. Aids have got to go, you guys have got to go, and as well as probably the NCR. I think a good goal might be trying to get all of Nevada under us, so we got rats. Did you know that? Vault City, mole rats, with the, led by the brain, has rats. Go figure. 
After night school, then can we go to war with anyone else? Slags? Growing the flock? Uh, Kemalt Station? That could put us at war with other people, which we don't want to do. Problem with a den. Okay, the Slags. It's become to, it has come to our attention that a uh, unique community of mutants known as the Slags lives on the areas of Modoc, and is largely responsible for success in recent decades. These people seem to have been descendants of a group that survived the Great War in a private bunker, a century of life underground and constant low-level exposure to radiation. Many of them adapted to subterranean life. Unfortunately, they are all cripplingly agoraphobic. Uh, as a result, with help from us, they've already have, have the good farms. The good farms could become excellent. Okay, not bad. Uh, more mole rats, thank you. Modoc, huh? If we must. Crop rotation, cool. And go and grab some backyard workshops. If you'd like to read about the secret sauce, go right ahead. This happens usually once every campaign, so. Not bad. Sure, and that's why I don't want to go to War of the Bone Dancers, so there's that. New Reno, NCR, Mojave Territory. Well, I guess Mojave Territories is uh, a little gone right now as they're trying to beat the Legion, but the Legion looks like they're doing pretty damn well, I would say. And we are on a historical, if I remember correctly, so yeah, not bad. Go ahead and train if you need to. Not a bad idea. Oh, a lot more divisions. Good, 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 good. Throw them on the line. Wow, I still gotta place a troll worm at the time it's recording. Oh my goodness. What else can we do down here? So I asked you guys yesterday whether we should use ballistics or laser weaponry. And it was recommended from you guys that we shall go down with energy weapons. So we will use energy weapons in this campaign. So Van Graafs, thank you. Cultural advisors, fortifications are not bad. Factory repair speed, but justify Wargle's time goes down by 25%. Death Clause 8 team. Well, gosh dang it, that sucks. Uh, free repairs, not bad. Purification power, foundries, resource efficiency gain. Ooh, I like that Justify Wargle's time. Ooh. I like that a lot. I like that a whole lot. Prince of Terror is not bad either, but... Yeah, we'll go with that one. Monoplane Fighter, very, very, very nice. Up next, Support Companies, better anti-tank. Let's go with that one. Biplane Fighter is very good. Steam Powered Extraction is great to have. You can go ahead and grab this one as well. It's, I mean, some things are just a little bit ahead of time, but it doesn't really matter to me. And very good as well. How much money do we have? 177 is not bad. Uh, throw them on the line, that's fine. I should probably actually pay attention to how much we're spending. 11 monies. Hmm, that's not good. After the slags, we should be growing the flock. Our clients say the Pale Folk is ideally positioned to administer the region of Eastport. We should begin a campaign to fully integrate Eastport into the Pale Folk tribe. Which might not be bad. Alright. At this point, no, I don't want to actually accept you guys, so goodbye. As much as I love your armor, we're kind of okay. Three, two, one. Wait, wait, do we not have them? Oh, wait, is it, was it against someone else? Hold on. The slags. Oh, we need to do that one. Ooh, actually, sharpen antlers. Um, Vault City, oh, no. Now willing allies, hunt the antelopes. Wait, what? Well, maybe I should have read a little more closely then. Alright. Problem with it. The... Oh, there it is. It's down there. Okay, that makes more sense. My bad. Monoplane fighters. Uh, let's see, 129. Well, that's quite a bit ahead, so we gotta do something else. Oh, Pioneer Scout gets one out. Because we can. Because we can. Are we even using these? I don't think we've been using these. Eh, we'll make it just in case we get some extra divisions, you know. <sighs> Machine assisted encryption is not bad. Let's keep going with that. Keep going with that. In the meantime, you guys can go ahead and go back to training if you really like to. Are there any divisions here that we don't really want? This infantry template 2 looks to be okay ish. Is that the one we were really making here? No, it's not. This is the one we want to make, but really. Actually, it's not too bad already. So, you cost me money, son. Rats? Again? Well, duh, we have mole rats. We're a mole rat nation. What are they expecting? Haha. <laughs> uh, you guys are blockers. 16 combat width. I don't think that's the one I wanted, right? Yeah, we want this. Uh, actually, that might actually be. Let's change them up. To be a little bit stronger. There you go. That's a little better. Any divisions here that we don't really want? Antelope warriors. That actually might be with the division we made to. Yeah. A lot of these divisions aren't superb, we'll say.
Yeah, actually, you know what? Screw, screw robots. At this point, it's, it's too hard to use them since we don't have the we have the industry sort of, but we don't have the resources for it. And we're really not going down that direction. So, and I suppose we can save some factories by not using them. So it is what it is. Cool. And after that, let's go ahead and quickly go to sharpening antlers. If you like to read about songs, go right ahead. But with the antelope tribe now willing allies, it's time to make them useful, useful allies. Investments follow them through. Just cut our losses. Uh, that, that's actually pretty good to get done. In which they get Vault City Antelope Militia, which grants recruitable population. Not bad. And we do get to choose an operative, which will be very nice. Oh, a little bit of lag. And Warden declare war on the hand. Ah, Warden. I need to play some Warden sometime, too. Seems like a fun little nation to play as. And here we are, my friends. Dweller David. Very good. Anyone here? Oh, uh, am I still making divisions? I don't think I am. But maybe I am. Oh, I am. My bad. My bad. Antelope warriors, not enough manpower. God dang it. Alright, so you're done. Let's grab some of you. It's fine with me. Uh, that is totally okay to use. Go wherever we need to. Light infantry doctrine. Let's go with more recon for mutants. Ooh, 20% reinforcement rate is nice, but recon actually helps you while you're in the middle of battle, which I think is more important. So, uh, get actual infantry divisions are nice. How many divisions do we have? We have, once again, 300 manpower, so that's not bad. Mm, how about these guys over here? We're going to need to expand and build ourselves up a little bit better than this. Gecko can actually build up into Vault City. Yeah, let's do that one first. I want to build up that trade node. And... Eh, irrigation, why not? Why not give a little bit more irrigation? We got plenty of political power, too. So are we really done with the Pale Folk here? Face Mashers, Ripe Rolt Militia, Ruby Valley Jabberino... Face cramming, Ruby and the Crescent, huh? Interesting. So, if that's the case, I'll probably just annex Pale Folk them first, because there's not too much else there for them to do. And I, we have to do stuff down here as well, but that's going to take a little bit more time. So, at this point, let's go and start working on integrating the Pale Folk into our territory. But how close are. Oh! Well, that's nice. They actually got cores on all of this. That's pretty good. Vault ways, huh? Vault security training, not bad. And great new experiment. Honorary vault dwellers. That'd be kind of cool if you could actually just integrate them eventually. Like, at, once they finish honorary vault dwellers, do you actually get to integrate them? That actually be really, really kind of cool. But maybe not. And what do we need right now in terms of trade? We need water and scrap. So let's go ahead since we're here. Let's get some more water if we can. Well, we're already filled up. Well, god dang it, we're already filled up. Seems like we're going to need more extraction then. So be it. So be it. Let's grab some radio then. Anything for roads anywhere? Pale folk? Yes. We really helped out them pale folks. Wow. Bone dancers were annexed. Pretty normal. Pretty normal, I'd say. And after this, let's go ahead and do the problem with the den. With the antelope tribe no longer a problem, Klamath has become a more pressing concern. The den is a wretched hive of in and scum, scum and villainy. Openly trading in slaves and drugs, Vault City's citizens have long despised this blight in the white sand, but only now is the opportunity to dealt, deal with it finally here. So even if they say no, we might still have to go to war with them, and they still haven't joined the NCR, which is a good thing for us. I mean, how long would it take for us to justify on them? Eh, 90 days is actually not too bad. How strong is a troll war? And they would white piece with those guys. Not bad, not bad. A pioneer kit, pretty good in my mind. Pretty good. Ooh, let's... Uh, uh, I guess we can go with that one, just because we can. Well, everyone, we're almost done with a problem with the den, but let's go ahead and do some more research regarding complicated circuitry. It's only 150 days, and we can see that sometimes, as we get more divisions from our puppets, it's costing us quite a bit of money. So, regardless, we have the problem with the den, and hmm, the face masters. Let's go back and do this one. Loyal citizens. Incentivize self-policing or self-policing and tattletale behaviors and the rats will reveal themselves. The most loyal citizens are given special treatments, usually exception from the brain super mountain super mutant drafts, and get more population, which is going to be very, very useful for the future. Now, this type, these divisions are very, oh, see, this is why I don't want to go to war with right World territory, because Without well, things like this could become very, very bad for us. And because of you, 
I'm gonna say goodbye because I don't want actually want that division. So when we go to war with these guys, I probably will pop at them. But we'll have a little border here, and we'll have quite the border over here as well. So we best be prepared for what could happen in the club. Clamanthian, Clamanthian reply. They accepted their proposal and became a vassal. I don't believe you. I really don't believe you. Three, two, one. Call everyone in, and they're going to reject our offer of accepting. Of course. Why would they? All right, let's go ahead and go on in. We should do relatively okay. Planes, you're look, literally looking the wrong way. Let's go this way. Come on. There you go. You're doing a little bit of damage now. And we should have enough planes to... Yes. Yes, a thousand times yes, my friends. Infinite yeses. Lots of damage. There we go. Now this should be allowing us to push further ahead. Or maybe I'll force us to struggle a little bit more. That really sucks. That's right, though. Damage done. Well, just us and Antelope Tribe, 34 versus 105. Our soldiers obviously aren't super great. Oh, we got so robo-security, huh? Well, we'll get rid of them soon enough and replace them with the loving and true Mole Rat Crew. That'd be so good. Ah, 17 damage. Still not enough, apparently. How much manpower does Klamath have? Less than a thousand. Oh, around a thousand. A thousand-ish. Got plenty of infantry equipment, special forces equipment, anti-tank, the like. But we are getting more more air XP as well, so that's actually pretty darn good. Very good, very good, good. As you can see, we've got a whole load of political power. I'm not exactly sure what to do with... I mean, we're going to continue to put down resistance and such, but... Man, I'm not really sure what to do with it. I would like to explore places too, but we'll see what happens. Recruit Greathorn? Oh, uh, sure, why not? Greathorn sounds like a pretty good idea to have. Let's see, we're missing pipe guns. Yes, we are. It's unfortunate, but we'll work on that soon enough. Let's grab some polyalphabetic ciphers. Uh, that division's actually worth using, so there you go. And you should be led by Greathorn. Cool. Mm, nerd Rage is not bad. Awareness, let's get more recon. I think that'd be okay. And let's grab some Nerd Rage. Both are pretty good. Ah, Klamath, thank you for playing. And we shall pop at you. Not bad, not bad. Alright, Klamath. You had a little bit of manpower. You got a little bit of equipment left. Time to use and abuse you. If you're not using and abusing your puppets, are you really using them? I say no, of course. No location set. Let me guess they have no manpower, probably. Game. Oh, Eastport is gone. No wonder. Duh. Well, unfortunate, but whatever. If these guys get annexed too, it doesn't really matter to me. Actually, could I force them to use mole rats instead? Hmm. Not a bad idea, actually. Do we have enough political power for this? Or army XP? No, we don't, which kind of sucks. Let's reset this. That's fine. They'll just use basic infantry for now, which obviously is not going to do that great, considering um, our do land doctrine isn't towards that stuff. So, we'll see. And what are we missing? Oh, we need oh, we actually need some more support equipment, huh? Was not expecting that. Oh, yeah, that's not too bad. Oh, yeah, look at this. Yeah, that's not good. No, let's go down five, then. We need to spread the water. Share the water. Exploit, 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 exploit. Now we're good. Loyal citizens shall be rewarded. I didn't tell you yet, but I did ask you guys, like I said earlier, whether we should do human breeding programs or mutant supremacy. And overall, the consensus was that we should do mutant supremacy, in which we will. So, through a careful application of mind control and violent interrogation, the greatest minds in Vault City has been picked clean of the secrets. Even now, the brain is improving the formula put into his vats, producing a new generation of mole rat super mutants, stronger, smarter than the last. Which shall be great for us. Truly great. And we're going to do battlefield scavenging. A little bit less supply use. That's okay. That's not great. But, you know, whatever. There you go. Uh, can we go to distressed outsiders? No, we cannot. We need, every cap for we need to go down here to be able to do that. But we can't because there's not enough full attention, surprisingly, yet. That's alright. CQC training? Why not? Actually, are we making any of that stuff? Yes, we are. That's not, that's not too bad. Then. There's nothing down there. Uh, you know what? Let's go straight for military academy training. Slightly more division training time, but it gives us a little bit more organization. At this point, I kind of want to just go to war with the 80s. And we should be able to control them actually quite well if we did this. Uh, you guys, yes, please. So if we were going to war with them, we would have... A, ooh. We don't have to call in the Desert Rangers. All we need to do is call in one person here. Pale Folk. That's literally what I want to call in. And we can probably 
beat them up pretty darn well. And maybe even liberate the rightful territory. This is probably a really, really, really incredibly bad idea. But I kind of want to try it. Eventually this arm's going to be nothing but... Uh, mole rats. So, we'll see what happens. How many mole rats do we have? Actually, let me look at this. So, Security Team 2 is the main infantry division that we have. It costs 125 manpower, while mole rats cost a slightly more. Slightly more manpower. They got a lot of HP, though. That's really nice. Breakthrough is god-awful, but that's alright. Riders. We still have them, which is good. Ooh, if we have this many divisions right here, follow it up with... Actually, thank you for playing. Uh, maybe you guys, actually, instead. Eh, maybe not. Ooh, anyone else here? Blockers. 20 combat width. Is that the who we want? Samurais have nothing on there. Oh, we have no more army XP, which sucks. Oof. If that's the case, let's throw on any more mole rats. Because these guys are really good for defense. Incredibly good for defense. And up warriors, that'd be good. And you guys did... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... Would that be enough to help hold the line? Maybe. You guys are going to come back here and kind of not suck on supply too hard. And also, the Brotherhood is dying. So, whatever. That's the 80s. No, nothing about the 8Es. At all. So, we might as well just manually justify, as long as you're not allied to anybody else, and take over the territory, right? Also, as long as no one else wants to go to war with us. Oop, there goes Lost House Bunker. So be it, a shining example. If you'd like to read about this, go right ahead. And wonderful to see eye to eye. Or lower their autonomy. I'd rather just go and do political power. We can always lower their autonomy later. Even though we really don't need that political power either. I mean, we actually have a ton of political power. Uh, hang dogs, split warrant. Hold on, hold on. Hang dogs, warden. Okay, I thought something else was happening over here. I guess they took out Scorpion Spot already. We currently have 15 money every quarter. 56 caps. We gotta start relaxing on how many caps we actually use. You guys go ahead and train. We got some unobstructed piloting. Let's grab some airbase raids. That'd be nice. Even though Cyclops Tribes was the first nation we did take out. So, how far are they going? Artificial Lolent. Grand Experiment. What are you guys doing? Gek Replicas. So, once they go through their final focus, I don't think there's a way for us to integrate them. Hopefully, there is. But I doubt it there is. We shall integrate them into our army. Uh, also, I did say I would leave in the description of who created the Vault City Expanded Submod, and I did check off screen, and it was a guy named or called Tumor on Steam. T U M O R. That was his name. I'll still leave it in the description, but I thought I might as well just let you guys know because I figured that out earlier. Organization relations, I don't really care. Uh, propaganda efforts, that's not really worth it. Yeah, that's not really worth it. Anything else around here? I'd like to put more people down, but... Oh, oh Arch Dornan. We can get Arch Dornan. Nice. After Mutant Supremacy, I kind of want to do some stuff on the right side. How about Utopian City? Vault City is more than a place. It's an idea. A post where Utopia is rising from the waste. We are all above those who are around us for a reason. And it is for the same reasons that so many flock to this place, desperate to get a, even a smidgen of the glorious technology that we have at our disposal. We'll get three more civilian workshops, which will be good to help expand and develop Vault City. And as a trade note, Old World Blues, if you like to read about this, go right ahead. It just, we didn't find anything, so that kind of sucks. Let's go to Manpower back. Uh, these divisions are actually worth using. Very good, very good, very good. How are the caps? Um, eh, it's not great, it's not bad. Around here, let's cut you down. And eventually, I want just converting our mole rats, or our divisions, straight into just literal just mole rats. This, now, infantry does not mean mole rats, which is unfortunate. We're still using them, so we must keep doing this one. No templates. Train mongrels. Oh, you're making train mongrels and oh, pioneer kits, huh? Are you still making pioneer kits? Well, we don't really need that. I'm not even going to use them in this campaign, so that'll be okay. Thank you. Oh, we need way more support equipment, actually, which is not good. Hmm. Standard wages is fine. Uh, local leaders, battle-hardened soldiers. Well, might as well. Please stop giving me your crappy divisions. If they're okay divisions, I'll take them. But if not, I don't want them. There we go. All right. They're probably a really, really, really bad idea. Any other planes around here? Yes, five plane fighters are good. Sl slap you guys in half. So you can go here, and then you guys can go there. And then have you guys... I'm going to slap you down in half as well. You guys go there. We're going to put you guys on whoever's down here already. And go right there. This is probably a really bad idea. Can we duplicate? Yep. Yeah, we can. Give them about five seconds before we go five, four, three... 
We're going to need more divisions on this line. Two. Complicated circuitry. It's a little bit too out of time for me. Uh, it's still a little bit too out of time. Scrap shacks, why not? Oh, maybe we'll do some more playing stuff. One. Point five. Oopsie, my bad. You guys, why are you not moving? Because you would have a fallback line, which is not good to have right now. Three. Two-ish. One-ish. Yeah, we gotta start saving some caps up, too. Hmm, five is not very much, now is it? Oh, we're building the way, so that's pretty good. Not bad, not bad. I'm, and I'm gonna manually go to war with these guys. I'll call in you guys, but don't call in anyone else. They should not be able to. And if that does happen, we might not have a good time. Now, we have called them in. And they are taking the bait just a little bit. So maybe we'll pull you guys off. Or maybe pull you guys off as well. Actually, we're not going to pull off everyone at the same time. We'll pull, like, a smidgen of you guys off first. And actually, you're going to go bye-bye since you're not even a normal division for us. So there you go. We're going to entice them to come in. Entice them. Come on in. Come on in. Oh, now that's a division worth using. Are these are divisions we actually wanted to make. Mm, is it really... These are the only samurais. No, they're not. They're not bad divisions, actually. But I don't want them. Because these guys cost us money. Literal money. It's not good. And we can expand Vault City. Don't mind if we do. Level 5. Great. No, we should have more money. That's good. Alright, if that's the case, if everyone wants to do this, come on over with us. Have a good time. Unless we could just push them in, which wouldn't be a bad idea either, but... I'd rather have them attack us first, if possible. There you go. Go and leave. Make our line a little weaker. If that's the case, I might do the same thing right here. Or I just force you guys to attack for us. Let's try that one. You guys are all stationed right, right there. Boom, boom. And that's not a bad division either. Let the Desert Rangers lose those guys. Civilians, future the servants, monthly population, security council. Not bad stuff, not bad stuff. Let's go and do... D den Crackdown. Why not? Now that Clamus leadership has been at the knee, we can crack down on the den with extreme prejudice. Because establishing order and any of the criminal's elements should provide so much, so much needed stability. Not to mention turning junkies and petty criminals into upstanding members of society. Sounds like a win-win to me. I still want to attack. Alright then, so be it. Duplicate you. That'll be good. We're doing quite a bit of air damage, which is nice. Not a whole lot, but you know, fine with me. Uh, do we have any more planes? Not that many more. Oh boy. So good luck with this. You're going to need it. And take half you guys and go right there. If you can win, that'd be great. Force the attack. Send half you guys with you. And have you guys do this. I'm not sure why they're attacking, but that's alright. There you go. Good luck. And now you're going to attack here too. Hey, you did it. Hip, hip, hooray. Very nice. Not bad, not bad. Um, not bad, not bad, not bad. Hmm, still a little bit too much ahead of time for me. Still a little bit too much ahead of time for me. How about over here? That's not bad. Engine advancements, pretty good. You guys did a pretty good job. Now, it would be cool to get, like, cut these guys all the way off down here, all the way down there, but I don't think it's going to be really be possible for now. So let's just station ourselves right here and do smaller encirclements. If they attack us, so be it. I don't really care. Continuing to clamp down on autonomy. What else are we going to spend our political power on? Great horn, very good. And you're using nothing but puppet division manpower, which is exactly what we want to see. And I thought we were attacking, but we're not, which is good. Vehicles. Hmm, maybe. Flamethrowers. Let's grab some as the brain. Frag grenades? I'm thinking we're going to put frag grenades on the mole rats and they can go kaboom. Grenade rifles. Machine machine grenade rifles. I think if we can get that, can we actually use that? We can. Yeah. Put the machine gun rifles or machine gun grenade launchers on the mole rats. Now that's using our head. Reform our control. Wartime administration. Uh, that's actually fine with me. We have we have no real use for political power at this time. We eventually will, but not yet. <laughs> That'd be good. 
there, thank you, boom, boom, go there, boom, boom, uh, I'm gonna try to go there. If that's the case, good luck, good luck, you might need it some more. But it looks like we're doing enough, uh, 30-ish, between 16 to 33-ish damage, which is pretty darn nice. I'm gonna send all but you got, uh, take you back, don't use the mole rats. Use everything but the mole rats to put these guys down. And you use you guys as well. There you go. Another encirclement. The 80s are surprisingly... Oh, hello. What are you doing right there, sir? That's not very good for us. Not too bad right now, actually. Oh, this is very strange. I'm used to them being much more difficult than this. Is this a normal division that we wanted? I believe it probably actually is. That's what we get. Oh, good, they're dead. And they, they wanted to kill themselves too, anyway, so... Go right here. There you go, nice. Thank you. Uh, Bushido Hido, local leader. Local leader's not bad. Let's grab local... Oh, actually, no, we're gonna grab Animal Friend for our type of playthrough here. That kind of actually makes more sense, so... Next up, we're gonna come down here. And actually, I'm just gonna go one, two, three. Alright, so seriously, at this point, I don't know what's going on, so... It seems like we might just be able to do a general push. Which is great and all, but I'm a little concerned that... How many divisions do they have? Well, up to 43, 2,000 manpower losses. I mean, obviously, if we call them Desert Rangers, it won't be very good. They don't have that much manpower. Infantry equipment's not bad either. Hmm. They're not attacking us, so we must as well do this. Three, two... I'm not gonna wait. One, two, three. There you go. One, two, three. There you go. Force the attack. Go on in. You'll, you'll be fine, I'm sure. Half you guys come over here. It'll be fine. Take you. Go all the way down here. We'll be good. Thumbs up for me. Next up, let's grab some of this ex selective exposure for more soft attack. Good, good, good. So we're gonna circle all these guys on the left, which would be nice. And our guys are attacking. Well, I guess technically they could if they really wanted to. Wow, that's not bad. Ooh, do we actually try that? Just general attacking? Oh, I guess we could. It's not with me, I suppose. 92. 98, 96, 97. We're almost there. Head on in, guys. Head on in. Sally forth. Den crackdown time. And eagle war eager warriors. Ooh, we get further burst schematics. All oh, the Brotherhood outposts. The den seems to have been an old Brotherhood of Steel outpost even before we liberated the region. It was nearly abandoned. Only a single member occupied it. With it now empty, we can renovate and expand it to provide for the defense of the settlement. While we're there, it would only be prudent to see if anything useful could be learned from the facilities such as Brotherhood of Bird schematics. Now that's worth getting. That is 100% worth getting. Actually, I don't want to use you over there because you're, you're too precious. My mole rats are too precious. Yes, I am very weird. Ah, that's alright. I don't really care. Alright. You guys just go head on in there. That's fine with me. You guys head on over here, too. Just go ahead and put them out of their gosh darn misery. Because who would want to be here trying to win? I do. <laughs> you guys are doing great. Tremendous. We need more planes, though. At this point, I mean, we've killed off quite a few enemies. Uh, you guys are pushing in pretty darn well. I'm going to recommend you guys come over here and actually start doing this. We'll give them about five seconds before we push. We're still mobilizing, it looks like, a little bit more, which is really, really nice. And then... Eh, I'm going to do that, because we can. Well, I got a lot of mole rats, son. We got a lot of mole rats. Uh, mole rat mutants? Oh, we can make them even more explosive. That'd be kind of good. Yes. It hurts our organization just slightly more, but that's alright. Oh, wait, they're all... There you go. Do now, 20 combat width. Three, two, everyone just kill them off. Everyone... Okay, so why are the 80s this, this week? Okay, usually. Is it because of resistance? It must be because of resistance, right? No, resistance seems to be okay. Almost in every single time I try to fight the 80s, it's a bad word to fight them. A really bad word, which I don't like. But it seems to be going too well right now. What is going on? Alarming trend. Uh, go ahead and do that. That's fine. Yeah, seriously, this is this is ridiculously easy. This should have been much more difficult, especially since I'm using puppet, you know, a lot of puppet divisions. Oh, what's going on? Oh, who cares about that stuff? Uh, you guys head into there if you can. And you guys keep these guys in place. Let's call everyone in. Boom, 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 boom. Doesn't matter now. Beat them, get rid of them, you know, call them. This is ridiculously easy. Holy bad words. We've killed off 8,000. We've lost 157 guys ourselves. Now, Pale Pokes have lost a lot more, but that doesn't matter. Like, why are these guys ridiculously easy this time around? 
Well, where are they in their focus tree? Hold on, let's look at that. War for the mountains, so... They've gone all the way down here, which is not bad, but... This is ridiculously easy. This is too easy, in my opinion. But you know what? Let's not go too far. Oh, we need more political power now for that. It's not bad. It's kind of nice. Engine advancements, very good. Let's grab some of this. It's a little bit ahead of time, but we do have the army XP for that, so no thank you. All right, then. Ooh. Actually, let's see. I want to puppet Ruby Valley Refuge, right? Liberate? No, we want to puppet. Riperal Territory. Just right there. Ruby Valley Refuge might also be good to do as well. And we're going to pop the rest. Okay, so these guys became... Oh, Face Master's done. If you'd like to read about that, go right ahead. Alright then. That's why I wanted to pop these guys instead. You actually became a Protectorate. You guys are a Protectorate as well. And then you guys are as well a Protectorate, which is... Not bad. Uh, with the 80s, though, I don't think these two nations would have that much manpower, so we're going to grab the 80s here. And infantry template. 18 combat width. Motorized. Do we have any other infantry templates here? Well, these templates aren't bad. They're not great. Uh, let's not duplicate that. We just want to copy it. It doesn't really matter. We have enough armor XP to change this up anyways. I, I usually don't use demo teams here, just because it doesn't give you any more organization. Um, it actually hurts your organization. That one hurts by 7. Yeah, overall, I think it's just better to get infantry, so... Uh, throw in some gems, because you can, too. Even though we're making them, we don't have to use them as well, so... That's looking pretty good. Economic resurgence. We don't have enough political power yet. Whatever, I don't really care. As you, of course, know. A few days left. Fragmentation grenades. Let's go with some... Over there. Air stuff. 170 days is quite a bit. Oh, that's still quite a bit too. Radar station, we can do that one. That's fine. Oh, wait, what? Oh, I want this one. Ah, uh, Great Horn falls ill. Um, up next then, let's go with New Hammond, maybe? Um, we can add more and more to our puppet army here, so... Why not, right? Well, that's why not, because we don't have enough... We do have enough political power. I don't even have, like, the fast justification war mod on, either. Oopsie, sorry. Ah, I hit my chair. Ooh, the Brotherhood Outpost. Delightful. Vertebrate schematics. Oh, they changed their conscription territory level, whatever. Um, I'm ignoring the right side of the focus tree completely. Saving face. Ripe world territory. The overseer dies. Um, sure. Face master shares many values with us. He protects his own, suspicious of the outside world, and is willing to get his hands dirty to keep his people safe. His people are also severely mistrusting of us, maybe inducting Masher as a full citizen. What we'll plus work towards bringing them properly under our control? Might as well. So what else do we want? I want more planes. Like, I am a sucker for really, really, just tons and tons and tons of planes. I love planes. I love the Great Plains. Hmm. Okay, I was gonna just, I was gonna exercise our guys, but okay. Yeah, why not? And how much will this cost us? Too much, but 84, wow. Wow, Jesus, holy cow. Well, clear one of the Marlock tribe, but I guess we'll call you guys arms, why not? Call it arms, why not? And head on in. Air damage, very nice, very, very nice. Die bombing, no thank you 80s, I can't afford that. That'd be cool if we had more text talking about like the economy and such. I think that'd be kind of cool since if you're not, if you don't pay careful attention, you can really screw yourself up if you don't have a positive amount of caps. So, be warned. As a friendly reminder, always be warned about caps. Because it can really bite you in the butt if you don't pay attention to it. I'll put it like that. Expanding the courtyard, expanding a lot of places. That's very nice. At this point, I think we might want to try. Okay, New Hampton's gone already. Thank you. Thank you very much. How much manpower do they have? Holy cow. Murtal? I mean, I guess... I, I I don't understand why it's... Why it's okay, now it's 40 days. That's 40 days. That's a little longer. I'm kind of okay with that, you know? I don't know. I don't understand. Well, maybe I should actually look into this a little bit more. Hold on. Aqua Boy Girl, that's kind of a waste for now. Saving face is nice. 
We do have, you know, Military Academy training, so it's minus 50% just five workload times. We do have the t minus 25% just five workload times down here as well, which makes sense. So uh, supply consumption, more division attack defense, bad weather penalty, decisive battle. We got even more attacks, CG Hidden Valley. So that might explain why we're doing so well with even more and more and more and more attack. But still, hmm. It would be war. Oh, maybe we can do every cap for the army. That'd be pretty nice, actually. You guys are training very... Okay, let's go Vault City again. At this point, I do want to start saving political power up so we can start integrating some more people, too. So, Level 9. Glorious. 25 caps every quarter. Not bad. I'll help out sediments because that would be good. Well, that's a lot of uh, political power for that stuff. Wow. Anyone else? We'll recruit Metzger Jr. Alright. Sounds good to me. And we'll be saving some face. Of the right wrote militia. Now that the right world have started to come around to our control of them, allowing their population to form their own military might just be a viable option. Why not? And that's a good division, right? Yeah, it's 20 combat width. That's exactly the one we made. Which we might want to try to expand them. Riders will still be good. Samurai. Throw on some of those guys. Throw on some camp companies, too. That's not bad. Desert Rangers. We definitely want to help support these guys because they are... They'll be very, very useful for the future. Since this, I might never get rid of them as an ally or as a puppet because they're so good. So. Alright, at this point we should be able to go to war actually pretty darn soon. We got some basic laser weaponry. Thank you very, very much. Yeah, but Vault City is a lot of fun. I love Vault City. It's so much fun. Oh, anything down here? Yes, let's grab some more foundries. Maybe we can build some. That'd be kind of nice. Basic laser weaponry. Yes, please. Marler tribes. And then we probably should go for ooh, good war. But well, we should probably go ahead and try to get some transports done. They're not too ahead of time, so that'll be good. You guys go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and go to war. They're guaranteed by a high travel, so we'll take out two birds with one stone, so. Uh, can we call all allies? Thank you. Oh my, we have so many allies. Look at that. That's so good. So we're doing okay so far. Air damage is slowly getting there. Slowly getting there. Wow. All about that. Goodbye. I love mole rats. Are they, are they, why are they so weak? Slowly pushing in. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Presbyter Anne is looking okay. One to two thousand manpower. Hold on. Let's see. Uh, stockpiles. No, they've got a good amount of equipment. Division-wise, they're, they're looking just a little weak. I'm not sure why, but you know what? I'm not going to question some things sometime. Uh, no, thank you. Uh, better radar. Let's go and grab some miniaturized circuitry. That'd be good. Selective exposure, not bad. After that, mutual exclusives with veteran integration. Recovery rate's okay. That is, that's definitely okay as well. Veteran integration, you get more experience gain. I like the terrain penalty reduction. That's quite useful. But, oh, recovery rate. We can recover faster. Hmm. Terrain penalty reduction. Ooh, that could be really good. It's like, you're fighting in, like, mountains. That that could help quite a bit. Deserts could help quite a bit. I think I, I chose this one when I played the Shields Army, so I'm going to go with this one, actually. It's not that drastic of a, you know, of something that we do get here, but, you know, we'll, we'll use it anyways. Looks like we're lacking for some of these guys anyways. Hmm. Ooh, are we missing, like, manpower, support equipment? No, we're just not doing that great. We're doing a good amount of air damage, though. Uh, more divisions. Anything here interesting? Uh, you are actually useful. Thank you. Master Elite. I mean, yeah, they're attacking very aggressively, but that's okay for now. Alright, very good. Murtel will be ours. These guys have been encircled, and they shall die. Thank you very much. And we still get one point some odd political power. 1.56, not bad. Uh, anything else around here? I mean, getting military stuff would be good. The military sign-up bonuses. Thank you very much. Come over here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And goodbye. Still positive. Five amounts. That's not bad. Can no one else give me some more political power? Uh, for now, I'll stop doing that one. And you guys as well, and you guys as well. Right, well, militia, not bad. Facing, face cramming. I want to do something else over here. Future servants. Quality service. 
Uh, Security Council... Oh, monthly population. Let's go with that one. Many of our people that come to our courtyards come seeking the trickle-down effect of our medical capabilities. We can't offer each and every person that asks a replacement limb. Our ability to make promises and quietly sterilize those too mutated to be of further use means we have excellent population control. Well, we can use more population, period. And more energy, actually. Quite a bit more energy. Uh, they haven't fallen yet, but they, we need to take this out first. Thank you very much. And, uh, okay. I'm not sure where all their armies are at, but okay. Fuel and, oh, we found them. Transport helicopters, here we go. Okay, so Murtaugh reformers are gone. Thank you very much. And Puppet. So, with this Puppet system, it, it only makes sense if we are allowed to, like, ask for caps from these guys, right? That only makes sense that if we are your overlord, you pay us. Right? Right? Or at least that makes sense to me. Like, does that... Does that... That should be part of the economy. Now we're losing money. Whatever. Pale folk. Let's see. This is from... Cole's Lost Guards. Let's see. This is from where? The Cyclopean? Cyclopean. The O's. We gotta get rid of the O's. So, thank you for playing. I appreciate that. But we can't afford you anymore. Point seventy eight. At this point, we can't really afford too much else. So, we gotta deal with what we've got. And actually, our army's looking pretty good, so... No god, we're okay. Oh god, they put all their soldiers here. You pieces of garbage. If that's the case, I don't want to lose supply. Let them come on in. Uh, go up to Murtal. Let them come right on in. Get our guys set up first. You guys are going to win the battle, which is totally, totally fine. Going to retreat. Let them come on in, and we'll kill them off that way. No, I don't want your garbage soldiers, man. So, now, Cyclops tribes. They should be done, or Pale Folk should be done with the focus tree now, right? Uh, they're getting close. They're getting very, very close. The price is right. Honorary Vault Dwellers. They're both getting very, very close. Very, very good. Actually, we wanted to. We just have them drain themselves on us in one area. You guys will be the honorary dudes, but only half of you will do that. Not bad. Not bad at all. Guys, please stop it. Please stop. You're embarrassing yourself. That's fine, you guys are not sucking on supplies, so I'm not too worried about that. We're missing more support equipment, though. we got to focus on that a little bit more. And actually, if we do... We can't do that. Darn it. Can't do that either. Darn it. We can do that one, but I do want to start integrating people. Um, all of you guys go right here. Half of you guys go right there. And... I'm going to keep you seven. There you go. There you go. Leave. And actually, I'll cut you guys probably down to half, too. There you go. Great Horn, you're going to do that for quite a while. Robot infantry. Yeah, that's better. That's fine. Now let's do one more focus before we end the episode, where I'm just going to sit here and hopefully kill off the enemy's uh, divisions this way. Or at least just drain their manpower, unless someone else tries to attack us as well, which could very well happen, so. We're barely... Oh, we're actually losing money still. <sighs> not good. It's always a problem with money. Advanced small trees, though. That's nice. Purification stations. That's also very, very nice. Wow, we need way more. Yeah, we need way more than that. Hail folk, that's not good. Well, I guess we'll do the Cyclops tribes first, then. To integrate these guys, which will be fine, even though it doesn't make these guys have way more territory. They're finally done with... They got air production, so it's time to go ahead and try to integrate them. Unless we have something else for Cyclops tribes here. Cyclops... So we have Home of the North, which is not bad. One, two, three, four. Eye on the prize, of course. Uh, let's see. Is it down here? Oh, all roads lead down there. Okay. Four Servitude. Eagle Warriors, of course. I don't think there's really that much more left for these guys, actually. And it's kind of hard to see. Eye for an eye. Yeah, I guess we'll go down this path next. Eager Warriors. Despite having being bested by us, the Cyclops tribe remains surprisingly jovial. They're willing to fight for us so long as we are willing to provide them with the means of battle, but I hope you enjoyed this episode, guys. If you did, please consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we will be ready to really strike in and destroy new Nicaea. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.